Hey guys, welcome to a brand new week. I'm back! Um, the thing is, I might have come back a little bit too early because there are some things that were, that was from last week that carried over. So I am technically busy with the private stuff Sunday to Wednesday, but it's only half the day. If you're wondering, it's very personal stuff. I, uh, I can't really share it and I shouldn't be vlogging it, so that's why I didn't bother at all last week. <laughs> it's very sensitive matters and stuff. Um, everything's good. Um, uh, it's just very awkward to talk. Not awkward. It's, just, it's not my place to show it, and neither is it okay to show it. <laughs> anyway, if if you know me very closely, you already know what it is. Anyway, um, uh, I finally got a chance to clean the apartment because I wasn't able to do it because of what was, was so hectic the last two weeks with my days off that I couldn't do it. But I finally did it for finally cleaning the apartment for the month. Um, I might reevaluate how I do it because I am i don't really notice how long it takes because I have my awesome Sony headphones. No sponsor, by the way, but I love them. I don't even notice the time pass by. It makes cleaning more pleasurable. I love it. <laughs> and I can crank up the music super high for disturbing my neighbors. But anyway, um, it takes a long time and my whole day off is basically over if I did that. So I figured maybe starting next month instead of doing the whole big cleanse, every week I'll clean a big cleanse of the apartment. So maybe the first week of July I'll do a big kitchen clean that will take me an hour and a half tops maybe and then next week the bathroom, another week living room and bedroom. That way it's not all at once where I'm doing it for the whole day and near the end of it, I know I'm am, but near the end of it, I'm sensing I'm being lazy about it. I'll be like, eh, this is good enough. Eh, this is clean enough. I'm not putting in the full effort because I'm tired by that time. So maybe if I stagger it, A, I'm not wasting my whole entire day off. It's only about an hour, hour and a half tops. And B, um, it's, I won't, I'll probably do a better job. I might combine the two. I might combine the kitchen and the bathroom for a week and then combine the base, um, the base, <laughs> the living room and my bedroom for other, and then there's be two weeks. I think that marks out better and then I don't feel like as if I'm not cleaning enough. We'll see. Um, so as I said, this week I still have to do with some personal stuff. Um, again, tomorrow I'm supposed to meet to me for a movie. I watched a movie in a while. And then tomorrow night I am busy. Tuesday morning and Tuesday night I am extremely busy, but then Tuesday afternoon I'm free. So that's why I said, it's, it's not like it's taking the whole day. I might have to go to the temp Buddhist temple in Richmond for some things, I think. I don't even know, I need to double check with my friend, but yeah, I'm back though. I woke up very early this morning because I had to go um, to um, I guess he was at a cemetery because um, they were, you know, doing some stuff. <laughs> and then afterwards, I had a bit of a break between certain events. So then I had arranged with to meet up to Kumi to watch the Mario movie, which we finally did. It took a while because he was busy with exams and all that stuff. And it was pretty good. I liked the movie. Um, I guess when it comes to voice actors, you know, they always have to rely on big names when they don't have voice act experience. That's the only thing I had a problem with the movie. Like, the only one that was a doing a good job that didn't sound like themselves was Bowser, Jack Black. <laughs> he didn't sound like Jack Black. Like, there's a hint of it, but he's altering his voice, which is, like, what you're supposed to do. So that was fun. I give it, like, a 7 or 8 out of 10. Um, it was really rushed, but then again, it's a kid's movie. The story had to be rushed, I guess. And then... Uh, afterwards, um, I had to go to the Buddhist temple, and then now I'm home. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to meet with my friend again tonight, because we're just gonna, uh, chill out a little bit. Uh, but I didn't have them to cook because I'm still fasting, as you guys know. It's 7.20 right now. If I cook, I'm not going to have time to eat. So I quickly ordered some takeout. I got some curry, a brisket. Very happy about that. I haven't had that in so long. <laughs> and then my fasting has been going very well. Even though the timing is more restrictive this time, I think because it's restrictive, I'm not eating as much. I've lost weight a lot faster this time around. I think what I'm eating is also impacting because I've been packing food and meal prepping a lot. Oh my god, so much curry. Oh, that sounds so good. I love Hong Kong style curry. Anyway, oh wow, my hair's so bad. Anyway, so I think it's also because of my diet. I haven't been eating out as much. I haven't been buying takeout as much, exception. So I've been eating a lot of salads with chicken and like, you know, that stuff and dressing. So not only am I eating a lot less because of that restricted time that I chose for my fasting, but when I'm eating, I'm also eating a lot healthier. 
So that's why I could be losing a lot more weight. I'm still very satisfied with what I eat, but you know, I think it's going a lot better this time. I just came home not too long ago and I just turned on my computer and opened my window and it was perfectly fine but all of a sudden it just started pouring like super heavily. I know it was forecasted to rain but wow it came out of nowhere like it was a bit not even that cloudy but suddenly it just turned gray and boom put down poor right now. So yeah <laughs> um, I came home and a package was waiting for me so I'm gonna open a package. I had an app, I found an Amazon gift card while I was cleaning the other day and I was like, oh, I forgot who where is this from, but I might as well use it. <laughs> it was a $50 gift card, I spent $67. I bought some like kitchen stuff that I wanted. One thing I got were two types of ice cube trays. The ones I got last time, they're good, but they're a pain in the ass to get out. I would have to put them out for at least a good five minutes before I can pop them out, but it's like, that's kind of unnecessary. So I figured getting the metal plastic ones are not the best. They look aesthetically pleasing, but they're not the best. So I got the um, silicone. Um, there was a set of three that were really cool, but the ice cream was really small, and the other ones were very pricey for some reason, so I skipped it and got a half plastic, half silicone one. So basically the base of the ice cube tray is silicone so you push it easier so it'll pop out a lot easier while the base is just uh, metal or plastic with a lid. I also wanted to get the giant ice cube silicone things but maybe next time because those are on sale. <laughs> and then I was feeling adventurous I got the uh, the spherical ice cube trays. Now they're made of metal but apparently they're very easy to pop out so we'll see how it works. I gotta wash these first. But I'm not too, you know, I'm skeptical of the sphere one coming out properly. And then I finally, I don't know why it took me so long to get this, but I got a salad spinner <laughs> from Cuisinart, a pretty good brand. I got, it was on sale for 18 bucks. Usually it's 40, so yeah. So apparently this one, you can pour water in the spout to wash the vegetables first and then dry them. But, you know, I might as well just use it. Because I've been eating too much salad, it's been pain in the ass to dry the leaves. Because you know how I prepare it, I would cut them all up submerge them in water and then just pull them and dry the leaves before I pack it for lunch. But it's always not perfectly dry because, you know, paper towels can only do so much. So yeah, that's some kitchen goodies. And yeah, I only spent like, what, 12 bucks on all this? <laughs> if I had gone for the silicone giant ice cube things, yeah, I would have spent more money. I held back. I, I, I always only buy things on Amazon if they're on sale. <laughs> That's what you should really be doing. If you don't need it, you can wait, then just wait for the sale. <laughs> I'm debating if I want to get rid of my existing ones. Like, there's two of them that are really old, so I might throw those two away. Because this one is a pack of three, and then the one metal that I cracked by accident, because <laughs> I was trying to get the ice cube out, I'll probably just throw away. And hopefully this spherical one works.
Alright, so it's been a full day since I froze um, those ice balls in the new ice cube tray I got. So let's see if it actually worked out. <laughs> It's frozen. Alrighty. Came with a little box. It's supposed to, you just twist and it's supposed to just pop out apparently. I'm skeptical on that. So we'll find out. Oh wow, it's really tough to get off. They're a nice ball shape, but they're not coming out. Kind of. Oh. They are popping out nicely. I think I filled this one too much. I purposely filled one too much to see what will happen. So it doesn't pop out nicely, but they are really nice spheres. I don't know if you can see it. Got bougie ice. Whoa. Because there's ice shards up here because it went over, that's why. So if I put it in Oh, it's empty now. <laughs> I feel like that's all the spheres. Okay, so it was not bad. Okay, let's try the one. Oh, there's a few more in here. Oh, ice shards. <laughs> oh. Okay. So I shouldn't feel it too much. That's, that's what happens. Oh my gosh, ice cubes everywhere. Looks like mice. I mean, glass. All right, this one I feel just to the line, so let's see what happens. Okay. No bursting. It's nice. But will it pop out? Not really. So right now it's better to not, wait, maybe if I flip it around. No, I opened it the wrong way, I think. That's why. So overfilling it works better, I guess. You learn something new. So, so far, not bad. So I think I decided to vlog in too soon. <laughs> um, I was just analyzing the footage I have for this week and it's pretty piss poor, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Because the beginning of the week I still couldn't show much of what I was doing because it's extremely private and personal. Um, I was helping a friend out and stuff so I couldn't really show that because it's not something you show. You guys can probably guess what it is. but. Either way, I think I start. I should have waited another week before starting to vlog again. I guess I was like, oh, miss, I, it's, it's weird for me not to vlog because I'm so used to it. So maybe that's why I was like, oh, I gotta vlog. So um, again, I, I think I apologize so much these days about not having good vlogs. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't do anything exciting and the stuff that I did end up doing, I can't really show. So it ended poorly. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Hopefully next week goes a little better. But we'll see. But it, it should, because things are slowing down. Um, my sleep schedule is ruined again this week, because um, a lot is on my mind. Um, helping my friend out, and then my friend telling me... I think I, I said this before, but my friend told me something that was really... pretty heavy, and it's still on the back of my mind bothering me. It's, it, it's, it's bothering, of course, him more than me, but knowing it doesn't make me any happier. And I'm trying to be strong for him, but it's just... It's pretty hard. I'm still just trying to grasp it. So that's been affecting my sleep because I'll be up thinking about what I can do to help and I'm not be able to sleep. So I my sleep is pretty ruined. Uh, a good example of this is it's almost 5 a.m. and I haven't been able to sleep yet. 
<laughs> so of course I'm trying to be productive and I woke up to do some editing stuff for OK Drama Time. But I'm getting sleepy again, so that's why I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to sleep again. But I've realized I didn't end the vlog or vlog much, so I figured I should really talk. <laughs> so I think this week I'm gonna try to fix my sleeping schedule again. I do, believe it or not, miss sleeping at 11 p.m. at midnight latest. That was really, really good. I'm gonna adjust back to it because right now I'm getting sleepy around 9, 10 p.m. again because of my poor quality of sleep. So last time I fell asleep at 10 p.m., it altered my sleep schedule. So I'm probably going to do that again and fix it. Um, yeah. Um, the heavy news has sunk in a bit more. So I'm not up at night thinking about it anymore. So I think it should be okay. I should adjust my sleep. Um, I'm still fasting. It's going very well, actually. I think I've told you. I think it's what I'm eating that's also a big impact this time of the weight I'm losing. I'm eating more salads, I'm eating more food that I cook. Eating f prepared meals that you make yourself is a lot healthier than eating out and save a lot of money. So I think that's why I've also lost a lot of weight. I've been exercising more, so I think that's why this time I'm losing weight a lot faster while I'm doing fasting. Uh, once I lose a few more pounds, I'm going to switch to the uh, 14 hours of fasting instead of 16 and then 10 hours of eating instead of the 8. And then that will help me maintain my weight as long as I still exercise and still eat right. But yeah. Um, tomorrow is day off. I still have to wake up kind of early still. I'm dreading this, but I'll wake up briefly to quickly do payroll. And then go back to bed. And then I'm probably going to have to do a grocery shop tomorrow. Because I am running out of ingredients. And I want to continue my meal prep and cooking at home. So I can pack more lunches. So yeah. I really apologize for this horrible week. I, I think it was too soon to start vlogging because I couldn't vlog a lot. But it should be fine. <laughs> Sorry, but next week should be a lot better. For now, I'll see you all next week.